Hi guys, so today I am back with another tournament match. This match is from IVL, and I think this match just got released, or it was streamed last night, but I think it got published earlier. Today. Yeah, streamed 19 hours ago. I have not seen this. I actually am getting ready to go live in about like two hours at the time that I'm recording this video. But I thought it'd be fun. I don't watch the matches like beforehand. I kind of just like skim through and see like what the lineup is. That way I already know before I start streaming. However, I am now seeing a sculptor for like I think the third time uh, this IVL season. And I'm a little annoyed. Typically, whenever we get hunters that aren't really that meta, there are two ways that those matches go. Due to the lack of either skill or the lack of character knowledge or at least character potential with whatever hunter they're picking for example like sculptor who isn't really considered meta anymore because of her full presence nerf these matches tend to do horribly for the hunter and it kind of frustrates me in the sense that like every time it's not the fact that they lose with these off meta characters it's that they're willingly picking these characters that put them in a disadvantaged state regardless of the standing that they're in the meta due to either i don't know just uh self i don't know if it's some sort of like self-righteous uh protesting against the meta you know like not the, let's not be traditional let's go you know let's do things my way or if it's simply like <laughs> sheer will being like oh yeah no i'm totally good with this character i can play with them but i feel like with tournament it's really frustrating in the sense for me it's frustrating in the sense that like whenever these characters get picked it only furthers the opinion of like these characters aren't really that good maybe we should stop playing them because apparently nobody seems to know what they're doing with them so i haven't seen this match but based on this team comp alone acrobat prospector weeping and tree leader i'm gonna be so honest she the sculptor is forced to go after the prospector or at the, at the very least acrobat because like tree leader and weeping are going to get a lot of distance and she's not really going to be having that much potential early game or mid game until she gets that full presence so i don't know what boat she's gonna bring but already this doesn't look good and i thought it would be fun to cover this um just again to prove my point of saying that these characters aren't really that good uh she banned coordinator which i feel like is a horrible ban because you can technically deal as sculptor you can deal with coordinator by placing a statue if you know your timing you can actually spawn a statue to block the gunshot so i already feel like that's kind of a little bit of a waste of a pick uh, Antiquarian, Dancer, and Grave. The Grave ban, I feel like, is kind of irrelevant just because, like, sure, he blocks up the statues, but at the same time, it's like, you know, if you do find him, you can form presence off of him, and that'll help you out, essentially getting rid of, like, a good rescuer. However, the permanent bans here are Seer, Patient, First Officer, Mercenary, Roach, and Florian. So I can kind of see why maybe this hunter was like, okay, you know, I got a decent, there's a lot of survivors, good survivors that have been banned uh, through the permanent ban system, and I'm banning a decent chunk of characters as well. Maybe I'll have a chance. I still disagree just because even though she's not really going to be dealing with a whole lot of rescuing, she's still going up against like fast paced characters that excel at kiting. So I just don't think this match is going to go well for her. We are in Retrich too. This map is considered to be a hunter sided map. However, I just don't really see um, someone that's a little slow at Sculptor really shining uh, on here since I feel like this map is more suited for characters that uh, revolve around cipher pressure slash like area control. And unfortunately for Sculptor, she doesn't really benefit from that until like very late game um broken windows on acrobat flywheel on cheerleader tied on weeping broken on prospectors so okay insolence and detention with blink on sculptor the old build with sculptor back when she was meta was insolence and trump card since you really wouldn't need detention a lot because it was really easy to hit people with the full prison statue ability however in recent seasons i feel like now having detention is probably a must just in case you need it for in game insolence i feel like it's fine same thing with trump card i really wouldn't recommend confined a whole lot just because you can kind of place your statues wow that was actually a really good statue bug okay i'm a little bit surprised there i'm a little bit surprised to see her chasing after the winning at first oh my god i thought he almost got hit with another statue again okay he's taking his rocket trying to go in the middle already ended up wasting that first one uh she actually did a pretty good job of timing that first statue was unable to time the second statue correctly uh to slow down now, now she's going to be uh, having to deal with cheerleader giving a little minor speed boost to weeping just helping him get some distance and now we see here that 
he does not have Tide, so he is going to be having to benefit a little bit from the cheerleader support, who is still stacking, putting on stacks, applying stacks. Oh my god, ends up bonking the wall, um, still trying to find a way to hit him. Uh, okay, unable to get enough stacks before it would require... Actually, well, no, I was going to say, now she has enough stacks on the weeping to where if he if he gets knocked down, he'll be able to just pick himself back up, no problem. So his kite will still ultimately last a bit longer. Granted, he doesn't have broken windows, but with the speed boost from cheerleader as well as just um, his rocket abilities in general, I mean, he, he has still maintained quite a lot of distance. First two ciphers are 93, 89. Cheerleader cipher is stuck at 28 since she was helping out the weeping, and now she's actually going to be taking over the kite, which I feel like is not really the best decision. Oh my god, good flywheel to avoid taking that full hit. Unfortunately, I don't know how much time it's going to buy her. Tries to use her pom pom ability to activate it. Ends up doing a really good job of just getting more distance. Again, this is kind of the thing I was talking about Sculptress' inability to perform well right now due to her base movement speed and a lack of full present statue ability. Uh, Prospector through a magnet trying to stun her a little bit. Ends up providing a little bit of support. Um, again with another magnet, holy crap. Uh, Chiller is getting some distance, still trying to make her way over, uh, leaving all these other areas behind. They are a little bit behind in Cypher progress though, just because Chiller had to leave and take some time to help out supporting the Weeping. Like I was saying earlier, I feel like it was kind of, eh, like irrelevant, um, to leave the Weeping since he had already had damage at that point if you were already going to commit to someone, let alone give them a chip and a half, or, um, a full hit and... <laughs> chip damage, you're better off carrying them since that would have saved her some time. Um, instead, now, she's sacrificing more time to come after the uh, cheerleader. Also, too, I want to point out, since she has Blink and everyone just has had a lot of distance, they're not really able... The sculptor hasn't really been able to like use Blink at all since everyone's just been a little bit too far. I honestly feel like War probably would have been a little bit better just in terms of just having distance. So, in case she was able to get a free hit... Um, or just get any hit she could then use for to catch up, especially with a map like this that just leaves room for a lot of areas with pallets, a lot of areas with windows. Granted, I know who she was chasing after at the beginning didn't really have tied. Everybody, um, except for the cheerleader, has broken windows, so I can't really, you know, I can't really know for sure if it would have benefited her by having warp. But I mean, at, for at least for this part of the match, where the two targets that she did try to chase after. Blink was not really the best case scenario um, since they were just pretty far and out of distance. Acrobat tried to hit her with a red bomb, unable to place himself in it. Has to kind of isolate herself away from the chair to get herself at a safe distance. Ends up swinging. I think she hit the chair. Yeah, okay. Gets a chip hit on the Acrobat and ends up just hitting the chair. Oh. Uh, I think she tried to time it, um, unfortunately, though. Just swung a little bit too early. Last three ciphers are 89, 70, and 80. Oh, Acrobat tried to sneak in with a quick palestine right there. Um, Cheerleader has one pom-pom activated. Uh, Acrobat just trying to provide some good body blocking. Oh, okay, now she finally uses her blink. I don't think it's going to matter that much, though, since this is going to be Cheerleader's second chair. Again, I really feel like he wasted a lot of time going after Cheerleader instead of just fully committing to the Weeping, who had already depleted all of his rocket abilities. He had nothing left. All he had left was the speed boost from Cheerleader, so I didn't know if he was a little bit worried about that, or I don't know if he even just wanted to have full presence by going after the Cheerleader. Either way, though, it still didn't really work out since she didn't have enough distance. Um, she wasn't close enough. Oh, a little bit of a weird cut there. I think she tried using her pick, but then called it back as soon as she saw the Prospector. Both Acrobat and Prospector are doing a good job at body blocking, just allowing Chili to get some distance. Uh, not allowing Skull to use her full presence ability at all to knock down the Chili Leader. They're just going to go ahead and pop it and let her get that distance while all three of them go back towards back eight. She does have a chance to get Dungeon over here in the back corner. Again, I haven't seen I haven't seen this match, so like I really don't know what happens, but... Uh, just at the rate that this sculpt has been playing, just um, not really having enough confidence or, and or a clear like strategy in mind. She kind of just seems to be going with the flow. I don't really see her <laughs> killing this cheerleader anytime soon. Who also has both flywheel and two pom-poms ready and on standby. As you can see, just real impatientness from the sculptor, wasting a lot of her statues, wasting a lot of time. She's out on statues. Uh, cheerleader relying on her pom-pom, and I think she's just going to Hail Mary with the flywheel and ends up getting dungeon. Yeah! Oh man, a solid 4k from the opposing team. So yeah, as you can see, Sculptor's not really the best right now, and even more fuel to the fire, picking a character that's not really meta like Sculptor, and having them lose consistently within these tournament matches, um, or in these league matches, it's it's just hitting the nail in the coffin on like why these characters aren't really picked that much anymore.
I'm not saying that you can't make them work. I'm just saying it's extremely difficult to make them viable. So unfortunately here, we do see a 4K win for the team act. So yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to cover uh, this video. Don't get me wrong, I love Sculptor. It was fun when I got a special with her last season, but or not even last season, the season before, like two seasons ago. Whatever it was, it was fun. But I mean, as a hunter, I feel like you gotta know your limits. One, know your limits, and two, uh, there's like a right time to pick a character that you feel like you can be confident with and shine, and then there's a wrong time. And this, unfortunately, was a wrong time. So yeah. Anyways, that'll be it for this video. Hope you guys have a good day. Good luck on your rank matches, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.